Hello, I am Paul Peterson. I teach at Harvard University. I'm Eric Kanishek. I'm a senior fellow at the Hoover Institution of Stanford University. In a book we have written with Ludger Wissman called Endangering Prosperity, a Global View of the American School, we show that the future of the United States is seriously endangered by its stagnant school system. It's a very simple proposition. When students learn more, they become more productive members of society. Countries with a better educated citizenry have higher growth rates of their economies. Americans have always known that. We built the best educational system in the 19th century, universal elementary education, built on that in the 20th century. Uh, we have great athletes, too. We starred at the you know, Winter Olympics in Vancouver. We won more medals than any other country. The other side that we don't show very often, though, is if you take the medal-winning countries and list how we do in terms of math scores, it's a very different picture. Yes, it's a very serious situation. Only 32% of U.S. students are proficient in mathematics. Over 25 countries actually do better than we do. In Germany, the percent proficient is 44%. In Canada, it's 49%. And it's an amazing 63% in Singapore. If the United States could boost its scores to the levels attained in these countries, the gains over the next 80 years would be absolutely enormous. If we could just get to the level of Germany, our economy would be boosted over the 21st century such that the average paycheck of each and every worker would be boosted by 12% per year. Yet our high schools are stagnant. They haven't changed for 50 years. Our students are no more skilled today than they were back in 1970, unless we get things fixed we have a problem. I'm Eric Hanischek, and I hope you'll find time to read our book. And I hope you will join us for our next video where we talk about how our best students are doing in school. Despite the seriousness of the situation, many people think, well, you know, our best students are doing just fine. They're getting an excellent education that allows them to compete with students all across the world. Unfortunately, this doesn't match reality. Only 7% of our students perform at the advanced level in mathematics. You know, that's just about half of what is the case in Germany and Canada, where 13% of the students are performing at that high level. And it gets out of sight if we compare to Asian countries. 16% in Japan are at the advanced level, 20% in Korea, and a full 30% in Singapore at the advanced level of mathematics. Meanwhile, only 10% of our white students in the United States attain the advanced level. It's not just the problem of our minority students. Our white students aren't doing well either. What I find even more amazing is that only 12% of students with college-educated parents perform at the advanced level in math. If the United States cannot turn out a competitive share of the very talented students, it has a very serious, very broad educational problem that affects even the best students in the fanciest part of our metropolitan area. We report that only 32% of high school students in the United States are proficient in mathematics, which puts the United States at number 32 among the countries in the world. We think this poses a serious problem for the economic future of the United States. Some people wonder whether this could really be true, and if it is, whether the problem is at all serious. So we thought we should share the president's thinking on the topic when he gave a radio address to the nation not long ago. Over the next 10 years, nearly half of all new jobs will require education beyond high school, many requiring proficiency in math and science. And yet today, we've fallen behind in math and in science and in graduation rates. As a result, companies like Intel struggle to hire American workers with the skills that fit their needs. If we want to win the global competition for new jobs and industries, we've got to win the global competition to educate our people. We've got to have the best trained, best skilled workforce in the world. That's how we'll ensure that the next Intel, the next Google, or the next Microsoft is created in America and hires American workers. We share the president's concerns about the state of American education. We hope you'll take a look at our book, Endangering Prosperity. The book, though, points out that things could get better. We hope that you'll watch in the next video when we describe this.